you're anxious all the time. Okay, I totally lost who I was. I want to be who I was before all this and I didn't. Fuck, I need help. Everything was just a weight on my shoulder. At the end of the night when you're lying in your bed and you're looking around, your mind is a very scary, dark thing sometimes and I felt really alone. I don't want to cry. Those were like the hardest two months of my life, I think. Been about a year since I actually I think to this day. Yeah, it's been about a year since I lasted actually it was my first mental health video and I was in a really mm, Different mindset that I am today last year had no idea what I wanted to do I've learned to kind of cope like I don't get panic attacks as much as I would have a year ago with my OCD uh Yeah, this is weird for me to talk about on camera. Okay, so my OCD is a lot with organizing and cleaning and also like number OCD if that makes any sense to anyone. It's like a weird thing. This honestly, this is me being so vulnerable and like I don't know if I'm gonna cry because it's like like I'm anxious talking about it but mental health is exhausting to me. But a year ago my mental health was like really scary to me and I felt really alone but now I'm not so alone. You know I talked to my family a little bit more about it. I'm gonna try not to cry because crying has kind of been, um, I can't cry, but I just felt like I needed to cry and it was like really draining. It's like exhausting to me and I couldn't cry. And I was like, I'm not going back, you know, like in my first mental health video, you would have seen I was crying and everything like that because I did, I felt really alone. And now that that video is probably like two years old now, now that that video is a little bit older, um, <laughs> I'm in a completely different mind mindset than I was in that one and I feel like I was changing for people back then and now I'm kind of just like take it or leave it. Like, OCD really has been flaring up and I don't know, like I really don't know what triggers my OCD. Sometimes I do not like to go in public, like ca food cafeterias, absolutely not. You will never find me in a food cafeteria because it's just too wide and open or like overly populated places, like I get real anxious because I just think of all these bad things that can happen. I don't even know where to begin when it comes to my mental health videos. So I guess what you just saw was kind of like a little flashback of all the videos that I've created so far, which have been three. And honestly, a couple things watching back on my very first mental health video. Oh my God, I was so lost. I just probably came back from college. Well, like I've probably been back for two years now and I just wanted to kind of get my, get my thoughts out into the world World wide web and honestly that was probably the first time for a lot of people to hear that especially my family so that was kind of upsetting <laughs> when I hadn't really like told them anything about it and it was just on the internet for them to watch and see that I was going through some shit so uh, to watch back on that and watch that I was like actually like really deeply upset and in a really dark fucked up place um, and crying uh, it's like really it's it's like bittersweet to look back on that because I am a completely different person who I was back then so I'm not gonna say like I changed but I definitely I need to like just like chillax you know like I'm talking to my friends or a therapist that I don't have that I probably should anyways I am completely in a different mindset than I was back in my very first video which I think I told myself I'm not gonna cry in this video because I don't want to cry honestly that video I don't even know who that girl is anymore and I'm really happy about that because I was just in a really bad place <laughs> let's just put it like that I was in a bad place and I was really like trying to still discover who I was and who I wanted to be and obviously I had some things to work out I just had a lot of shit to work out in that video in that time span and I don't want to laugh because mental health isn't a joke but like I look back on that video and I truly I feel for that person if I knew somebody who was in that situation who I am now I would help them like till there's no end because that person in that video I like to describe myself to people as this Sarah and college Sarah because those two people are two different people like it's wild um but that person was so sad and so hurt and lost and didn't know what to do and just really confused. I mean, I'm still like a little confused and lost, but I'm not like, not like that anymore. That was a type of pain that I never want to feel again. I have kind of hashed out some stuff with myself and I just put it away, not put it away because like I kind of resolved some problems within um, that I was fighting, like fighting through like, 
anxiety, your girl, I'm a, you know, you know I'm going to talk about anxiety and OCD because the other clips you would have saw talk about that. So I just kind of want to talk about the first video and then kind of go through them. Oh, and I want to mention going through this video, uh, I noticed that my eyebrows have changed drastically. But anyways, I'm not going to talk about eyebrows because I don't care anymore. This is who I am. That girl in that video was so, so upset and just lost. And like I said, I hashed some stuff out with myself. I discovered who I am and who I want to be. And I think the big difference between who I am now and who I was then is I've obviously grown up. I've figured out some shit. I've learned some shit. I've been through shit. I just know what I want and I just know what I want and you can either take it or leave it. I've become very opinionated. Not opinionated, but like I have my opinions and if you don't like it, I could fucking care less because that's who I am. Um, I'll see your side of things, but if I don't agree with it or if I don't think it's right, whatever, it's free speech, it's fine, um, but I am very opinionated and I used to not really speak my thoughts, my truths, but I'm starting to do that now, so that's great. Um, back then, probably never would have told you if you were making me mad or not, and then I would keep everything bottled up, but I learned you can't, you can't keep things bottled up. So I'm like out of frame. Uh, you can't keep things bottled up because it's just not good for you in the long run, and that's what I've learned drastically through this whole entire mental health journey. <laughs> I guess the next thing we'll talk about is the second video, which I believe I was talking about OCD and like number OCD. So when I'm anxious, like I said before, I count and it's become like a habit. Like sometimes I'm not even anxious and I'm counting shit and that is so exhausting. And like I said, it adds time and time and time onto, vide onto videos, onto bedtime routines, morning routines, life, just everything. It's really exhausting and stressful. I am trying to break habits. Let me tell you, when 2020 hit, I'm like, that's it. I'm breaking these habits of constantly counting. But sometimes it, when I am anxious, it kind of comes back in, but that's fine. Um, but bedtime, I had all these things I was doing, so now I'm kind of like just cutting them off. And I haven't done them in like a couple of days. Yeah, uh, that second video was just kind of more about my OCD and anxiety and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. One moment, people. <laughs> Doesn't she know I'm in the middle of a video? Hello? Hello? What's up? So my mom just called me and we were just chatting about what we want to do today. Anyways, I kind of just want to slap on some mascara because I don't really know what I'm doing today and I want nice eyelashes. So like I was saying, um, hold on, I'm not a multitasker. As I was just saying, like in that video, I was talking about my OCD and how it's kind of like changing and how I'm just trying to break habits that I have. And then in the third clip, I want to say I was talking about how I can't cry, which is honestly true still. Uh, I do get like more emotional, so my emotions are coming back, so that's great. But for the longest time, I thought I was kind of just like desensitized. And also when it comes to panic attacks, I have not a lot. Like I can feel them coming and they're kind of scary still, but I haven't had a panic attack in like a long time. It's kind of more of like that de-realization de stuff I was talking about when you can't really tell if it's real life or not, which is also kind of fucked up and scary. And I don't honestly want this to sound like I'm making light of it, but everybody has a different way of coping with anxiety and depression and mental health issues. And so sometimes I try to find the humor in it because if I don't, like I'll literally feel like I'm going, um, insane <laughs> so but for coping I honestly go to the gym but been really sick actually the last like week and a bit well, I haven't been at the gym in probably like four days five days which is wild and also I got my period too a little TMI there but I don't go to the gym when I'm on my period because I just don't want to I don't want that negativity in my life. <laughs> I haven't gone to the gym, but going to the gym is like a coping mechanism and also listening to music, filming, reading, and all that kind of stuff. But I guess long story short, I just want to give you guys a little update on my whole mental health. As of today, we kind of just walked down memory lane, which I don't like doing. But like I said in the beginning of this video, or maybe I didn't, I'm not going to touch on mental health videos for a while. Maybe in a couple months, um, I'll come back and check in. In on it and see how I'm doing and let you guys all know but for the most part my mental health is pretty good I'm in a good mindset right now I feel good I feel happy which sometimes I don't <laughs> but like currently I do feel happy I feel good I feel like I'm in a good 
bought when it comes to my YouTube channel and all that because sometimes that does play a little part on it because I spend so much time and energy on YouTube and Instagram and being whatever you want to classify this as. Sometimes it's discouraging so sometimes I kind of get down on myself but that's okay things are looking up I'm working really hard at it and I know my goals and where I want to be uh, but yeah my mental health again like I said that these videos are always all over the place and sporadic my mental health is good I feel good I feel happy I feel like a lot of weight has been lifted off my shoulders in the last like couple of months and that is a really great feeling when you've been so stagnant for so long. Uh, I do get sad, obviously that's a given. Uh, I do get sad, I do get kind of upset thinking like, it's Friday, why aren't I doing anything? <laughs> but that is, it is, it is what it is, but I just kind of have been spending more time with family and that kind of stuff, which is great for your mental health. I just kind of wanted to chit chat about my previous videos and give you guys a little bit of an update, just saying like, you know, I've kind of got my OCD under control, which I've been working really hard at. Uh, my anxiety, she's still there. She still knocks on the door every now and then. Um, but overall, my mental health is good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. So that's really all I can ask for. But if you like this video and if you've been on your own mental health journey, let me know in the comments down below. I like to know how everyone is doing when it comes to that because I feel like it's important to always be in the loop even if you don't know someone you know what I mean you just want to check in on them make sure they are a-okay I don't know what that was <laughs> you just want to make sure they're okay and all that kind of stuff because I feel like there's people I should check on that I don't and I'm probably going to text those people right now and just be like hey hope you're doing well that kind of thing that is going to conclude today's little chit chat rambly mental health life update for you all if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comments down below like I had said and thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.